Hey guys, it's Joey. I can't believe this day has finally come. I've made it to the big leagues and I got my stardom. What happened? I got reacted to by the BME Life. Hey everyone, welcome to the BME Life. Yesterday, I came across this video on YouTube and the title is The Story of Why I Quit Biomedical Engineering in College. So flashback a couple months ago, I made a video called Why I Quit Biomedical Engineering. And long story short, I quit in my undergrad and switched to computer engineering because I joined the major excited about the prospective applications and the cool industries to go into. Then I took my first biology course, I realized that was really hard, and then I decided that the learning style for that major wasn't right for me. I did more research on the major and decided that the job directory wasn't what I wanted to go for, so I quit the major and instead switched to computer engineering where I was able to find my niche and I ended up really happy about it. Honestly, her channel is really cool. It gives a lot of great insight into biomedical engineering. So if you do want to go into that field and learn more about biology, feel free to go down to the BME Life's channel. With that being said, let's get right okay. into the video. I think not that the problem starts there already, but then I can see how maybe he just made, he just went to the major too quickly without knowing much about it. I think that's maybe what happened. So she's right about this point. I didn't know much about the major and actually that's kind of the point of my story. I didn't know about the major going into it and I should have done more research knowing about it. So what I did know about was the applications for the bio field, which is what excited me. I knew about tissue engineering. I knew about artificial organs. I knew about robotic and robotic arms. I understood genomic sequencing analysis and bioinformatics algorithms. In fact, I took a bioinformatics course in my high school, which made me really excited about learning more about DNA sequencing. However, what I didn't understand was the career trajectory in that major. For example, BME is looking more for mature engineers who have more years of experience working with, let's say, FDA regulations versus other engineering disciplines, which can are more likely able to hire fresh grads just working on some application. Furthermore, with the BMEs, they're more looking for specific bio knowledge and teach less of the general engineering knowledge versus other engineering disciplines, which teach more general concepts that can be applied towards any sector of the industry. And I wanted a little bit more of that flexibility. So I didn't understand that going into it and I should have done more research before I actually took the major. I literally had just one semester of leeway to make my decision and if I was late by even one semester, then it would have pushed up my graduation date by at least another semester. So it was really important for me to decide right away. Well, that's a mistake. That doesn't matter, guys. Like, it took me five years to graduate. There's no timeline written in stone. We all have our own journey. Just be aware of that. At the same time, it's hard to even figure out what you want to do if you're only taking general courses. So I understand, but do take your time to make this decision because it is an important decision. Yeah, so strong disagree on this point. I will say that if you do end up graduating later, don't sulk about the decision and instead move forward with your life and your career. However, if you're newly coming into college and you are making plans in your schedule, definitely try as much as you can to graduate earlier. And this is because college isn't cheap for the vast majority of a lot of people. I mean, in college, public college is going to ring you fifteen to $30,000 per year. Private college can ring you sixty to $70,000 per year. Tuition rates can increase from 2 to 3% every single year. You also have to factor in the cost of housing and then food. And honestly, a lot of students are taking out very big loans. They're charging them a lot of interest per year, and it takes them so many years to be able to pay it off. So definitely try to graduate early because money should be an important factor, especially if you think that it will be, it will be affecting your financial situation. Now, originally, I wanted to be a biomedical engineer because honestly, I didn't have a good reason. <laughs> Damn, she really pulled the Robert B. Wild on me. Honestly, she has so good video production quality. No matter the arguments that I put in this video, I just gotta say, her arguments trump mine just because of how stellar her quality is. I wasn't thinking about the jobs, I wasn't thinking about the career progression. And that's a really good decision-making process on why he got into BME. Honestly, what he said, I was good at biology, I was good at math, 
biomedical engineering. I can testify that that was probably my thought for going into BME. Everyone that I know, they don't really know what to expect from BME until you actually go into it. And yeah, he's like, I wasn't thinking of jobs or anything, which I mean, it's understandable. I think we all do that and we all learn as we go. Yeah, so I think we are in sync on this point that, well, both of us were in a situation where we didn't know what we wanted to do. And it's definitely true for a lot of people going into college. It's very rarely the case that someone just launches from high school into the university and they're like, I wanna do this, this, and this. And I wanna do this internship, go into this career. It's a lot harder for a lot of people, but I don't think that you should let that be a blocker for you. Instead, be proactive about your own situation and learn as much as you can about the major. So this means being proactive, learning from people like the BME Life, learning from other majors as well, and seeing what major is the right fit for you. And don't just be lackluster with this approach and then not learn as much as you should be learning and then regret it later on. Learn as much as you can early on and you'll be in a huge advantage compared to a lot of freshmen who are in your university. I thought that an intro course in bio, I'll totally ace this one. And that is my famous last words. When I did the weekly quizzes, I saw I was getting like only 40% of the questions right. Don't be discouraged if you start, if you go into college thinking that you're good at something and then you real, you start getting all these bad grades and you get discouraged. College is not high school. It's very easy to get discouraged, but just because you start failing doesn't mean that you should quit. So I can see your sentiment about not wanting to be discouraged. I mean, Every engineering is going to have something that's difficult and you will have a probably have a class that you might get bad grades in. So learn from your peers to overcome those struggles and see what they did and also ask them if it's really like that for the whole major. Now, that being said, I disagree in that you should just keep struggling through it. And I think you should cut your losses if you realize the major is incompatible, let's say with you fundamentally. In my case, it was incompatible with my learning style. For example, I'm someone who much prefers learning from first principles approach and deriving things. And that's just a learning style that excites me the most. That's something that's most applicable in computer engineering, computer science. For BME, you're learning about the human body. There's so many parts to memorize and you will have to learn a lot more memorization compared to these other engineering disciplines. I realize that this learning approach isn't for me. Other things, for example, is that in BME, you're more likely to work in a lab and you have to work with cell cultures, you have to work with DNA, whereas in computer engineering, you are more likely to work with, let's say, computers, machines, and robotics. Again, in BME, you can do those things, but more likely in your career, you will maybe early on have to be working with these cell cultures in these labs. And finally, the last thing is that in BME, so many research papers that you have to deal with. Now, if you like reading a lot of research papers and learning and collaborating with other experts in the field, and learning about all the things there is in that field, then BME is great for you. But for me, I much prefer the immediate applications process where in computer engineering, you can go prototype something and build it right away, which is really exciting for me. You don't have to read research papers unless let's say you're doing a PhD and instead, even in the industry, you can just go right into implementation. Definitely not the case for BME and it's just fundamentally incompatible with the way that I want to learn. So I realized early on and that's why I cut my losses early. I was working on a research project with a professor that I met and it was related to machine learning and artificial intelligence. And he decided to ask me one day, oh, what major are you actually studying for your degree? I told him biomedical engineering. And he said, are you serious? Biomedical engineering? Why would you be doing that? It seems like computer engineering might be a better fit for you. But did you know that there is a field in biomedical engineering that's computational? You can still use machine learning and things like that for biomedical engineering. So if you're interested in both fields, you know, there's definitely an opportunity for you to pursue that. So she's right. There's computational bioengineering. Essentially, this is like bioinformatics analysis where you would analyze a DNA sequence or there's also things like using image processing in order to find and identify tumors from CT scans. All of these are applications of artificial intelligence and statistics and biomedical engineering. However, that being said, probably a biomedical engineering undergrad won't cover those things in great detail. And if you want to study those courses 
in more detail so you can apply it in the industry, you'll either have to take computer science courses, computer engineering courses, as just secondary courses, or you'll have to pursue a master's in biomedical engineering with a concentration in computational biology. So basically, if you want to get those things, just be aware that the major alone probably won't give you enough of that in the bachelor's degree. And you will have to take extra steps to actually learn and apply those tools in the fields that you're going into. Of all the different engineering that I could have done in my college, biomedical engineering is the one that gets paid the least for graduates. The other thing is that they are basically pigeonholed into going into like these bio companies. What if I don't want to do bio companies? That's why it's called biomedical engineering. It is very specific and it really depends on what you want to do. I obviously went into biomedical engineering knowing that I would go into the healthcare industry. And you choose BME if you know that you want to work in the healthcare industry. Yeah, so she's 100% right here. If you want to go into the biotech sector and you're really bullish on that, you're really sure about that one, then study BME. It will really fast track you towards those industries. My main concern is that I was pretty sold on BME as a whole and biotech sector, but I wasn't so sold that I want to limit my opportunities in other industries. Because the thing is that with biomedical engineering, it's really specialized towards biology, but the general carryover towards other industries is a lot less compared to studying in um, engineering, such as electrical engineering, computer engineering, mechanical engineering. Those majors have a lot more carryover to other disciplines. And because of that, if you don't get the sector that you absolutely want, you can still find a backup in another sector that might be close enough or still is able to get you some good opportunity. And again, this is ultimately on your personal perspective. So. For me, my personal life philosophy is that I'll always be continuing to develop and grow. And the me of today will probably be a lot more different than the me from four or five years from now. And my outlook and ideas for what I want to have with my life will probably change a lot in those years. So if I'm only pretty convinced, but not totally convinced, I didn't want to feel like I would sector out my future opportunities because of some uh, mild interest that I might have at this current moment because I might value that flexibility in the future versus having that specialization now. So that's for me. If you are someone who really is confident and really wants to specialize early on, then you should take that opportunity and specialize and go as far as you can into BME and go into that field. If you want that flexibility later on, then that's for me. I just want to have that flexibility in general engineering. And yeah, that might be true that BMEs might be the less paid. I think it's just because BME is just boxed inside the healthcare industry. But you know what? Healthcare and technology are evolving. And so is computer. I'm not saying it's not. But like the point is that, you know, I've also seen that. I've seen those graphs. I've seen those videos where they show all the different engineers compared to each other and BMEs are at the bottom of the list salary wise. But like, don't get yourself, get discouraged because of that. You can still be very successful. You can still have a really good salary as a BME. So I will have to say, you can't put a price tag on the idea of saving people's lives as well as extending the human condition and improving the quality of someone's life. And I think that one just is really valuable. Also, I do think that there's a lot of valuable just personal happiness in your own job. But just balance this out with the idea of understand what your salary is going to be and the chance of getting a job and how long it will take for you to get the salaries that you want because salaries are important as well and you just have to balance these concerns go into it knowing all of the knowledge and compare this with other opportunities in other engineering disciplines or just other majors in general before you make your decision i don't think it's necessarily harder to get a job in bme i just think it's because you're limited to the healthcare industry that might be harder you can you can get a job as long as you get those internships and those connections you'll have a job again i'm a biomedical engineer i had a job offer i know other biomedical engineers that have jobs so you can't find them you just have to work for them so no matter what major or industry you want to go for if you work your butt off, if you're at the top of your class, get the best internships, you build your connections and you network to the best of your abilities, and you will get a great job at a great company making great pay. And if you wanna learn all of this for software and computer engineering, then subscribe to my channel. 
And if you want to do this for BME, subscribe to the BME Life channel. Anyways, just be aware that no matter what it is, no matter what major, that different majors do have different supply and demand and different salary ranges. And understand that for the BME industry, it's really focused on the biotech companies. And these are still, it's a new developing field. It has different growth rates, different salaries, and they are looking for a lot of mature experienced engineers. So uh, that's the thing that pushed me away from it. But if it's not something that deters you, then absolutely go for it. Because if you really, again, make a name for yourself, you can't earn those big bucks in that big time salary at those companies as, a, as an engineer and have a really fulfilling career. So basically, avoid all that hassle now, leave, and just go right into computer engineering. Make a decision as quickly as you can, just like me, so you can be out of that bad major from your first semester and be ready to start on to a new path. Everything was fine until he called it a bad major. <laughs> Yikes, poor word choice here. What I meant to say is that BME was a bad major for me and you should find your own bad major, whatever it is for you. And you should just understand what it is, cut your loss and switch to something else if you realize that it's not the right fit for you. Anyways, overall, I think that BME is actually a pretty great major. It has a lot of things going for it. It's making a lot of innovations in expanding human life, the quality of life. One of the companies I'm really excited for is Neuralink, which is a company owned by Elon Musk, which is meant to augment the human brain with computer chips and just improve the human experience overall. So I won't just count it as a bad major. In fact, I think that the mid-career salary for a BME is pretty high. It makes a lot more than other majors just in general, just straight out. And if you work really hard, you can get those top positions in the top biotech companies, which are earning hundreds of million dollars in terms of just sales, government contracts, and the satisfaction you get from saving lives and being just able to improve the human quality and the condition. Those are all the things going for it. It wasn't the right fit for me. I saw different opportunities out there. Find whatever it is that major is for you that you think is not the right one and figure out and understand why is it bad? Is it bad because you're just not good at the classes or is it bad because fundamentally it doesn't fit with your learning style or is it just that fundamentally that once you do the more research for that major, Maybe that major, you're just not as excited for the opportunities as you once thought. Understand all those things going into it and just try to do as much research as you can. Learn all the best you can and if you can take these steps, you will be a fantastic freshman way ahead of all the other people in college and you'll be learning a lot. So that being said, thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys are able to learn and I'll see you guys next time.